something I wanted to do for a while is write a program that did something using the uh, the radio on the micro bit. So the micro bit has a Bluetooth chip on board, the Nordic 51822, which allows it to do uh, Bluetooth low energy, BLE. So you can make the micro bits communicate using radio. So here's a little kind of toy application I wrote. So when you press the A button here, uh, this micro bit sends a message to this micro bit and um, so they're able to coordinate the arrows moving from one to the other. In fact there's a two-way exchange here because uh, when I press the button this sends a message in this direction well it's a broadcast in fact but but it's but it sends a message to this micro bit and then this micro bit sends back uh, an, an acknowledgement message to say that it successfully received the message. So this is quite a common thing in uh, digital communications. Um, so that when you when you send a message, there's a, an, an, an acknowledgement that goes back as a reply so that the sender knows that something has been received successfully. So that's just a simple simple indication of uh, one-way communication. So um, let me show you how I did that. I'll fire up the online text editor and we'll look at how that's done. So this is the tool that I've been using, the uh, PXT code editor um, provided by Microsoft. Uh, so this is quite nice because it allows you to write programs using this block language but then if you click on the JavaScript button here you can see that it all gets uh, expressed in JavaScript so so basically when you've exhausted all the things that you can do within the blocks language uh, you can then move on to um, to using an actual you know common programming language so that's quite useful. So this is so this is the program that I've written. Um, so I've been using some of these radio primitives. So if you look at this radio section here, you've got various uh, send options and what happens if a message gets received on a, on a particular channel. So we'll just look at what we've done here. So what we've got here is we've got a, a section here. First of all, I'm setting up what's going to happen when a message gets received. So when uh, a radio message gets received, the actual value sent ends up in this variable here, received number. And if the received number is one, I do this. And if the received number is two, I do this action. So this is, this is the code that's going to run when a message gets received. And then I go into this permanent loop here, this forever loop which is just checking to see if button A is pressed. And if button A is pressed, it then sends uh, number one as the, as the message. So this message is the, the request, if you like, to display something on the screen of the micro bit. So when one micro bit pr presses the A button, this message one gets sent, and then the other micro bit ends up in this code here. So we get a receive number, which will be one. And because that's one, we execute this. Now that says uh, send back number two. So this is the acknowledgement I was talking about. So the, the one is a request coming from one micro bit to another. And then the two is the acknowledgement going back the other way. So as soon as it sent the two to say it's acknowledged, it then shows this little arrow moving on the display. And that's it, that its job is, is, is now done. But back on the first micro bit, the first micro bit will now receive a message and the receive number will be two. So we skip to here and uh, so we've got message number two and this shows the other arrow here, just the, the chevron, the less than sign uh, and that's got space after it, in fact, to make it scroll across the screen. So this, this program I've 
loaded into both of the micro bits that you saw there and so they're both running exactly the same program and so if you press button A on either micro bit then you'll see the arrow uh, going across to the other. So once again, uh, so if we've got micro bit one, micro bit two, um, I press the A button. We have a request going this way, a number one, which makes the Chevron display over here. And then the acknowledgement, number two, goes back the other way, which is what makes the, the sending micro bit also display the Chevron on the display. Simple as that. And actually, as I said, the same pro exactly the same program is in both micro bits, so it, it does actually work back the other way as well. If I press the A here, then we get a message sent in this way. Number two goes this way. Sorry, number one goes this way. Number two goes this way. And both will display the synchronized uh, arrows on the screen.